let's go back to basics on what a solar system with battery storage actually is. So the concept is you're, you're capturing all the, the energy from the sun, you're supplying the load in your house and with any excess it feeds your battery for you to use it another time and then if there's still excess, i.e. if the battery's full, it goes back to grid which you get paid for. So that's nearly always the way that they're set up. Somebody might want to set them up slightly different if you're on a, a different sort of um, tariff, for example, Octopus Agile. So somebody might want to store all the energy to use between four and seven. We've been on Octopus Agile, it's not for us. We're pretty confident there's another way of doing it which maximizes the kit you've got. So let me explain to you what we are doing and how we're doing it. So again, we're actually still on Octopus and it's called, it's a tariff called Octopus Go Faster. So it's an EV charging tariff essentially. And what they do is they give us energy at 4.5 pence a kilowatt hour between half past three and half past six in the morning. So concept is you would be charging your car and it makes those miles about a third of the price because usually you're about 15 pence a kilowatt hour. Uh, worth noting, prices are going up. They've just literally went up last week. It's May 21. Uh, in our region, they went up just short of two pence a kilowatt hour. So I'm expecting energy prices to go up. However, that's only my opinion. So going back to it, if you've got that three hour window of cheap energy, you could be running your tumble dryer, charging your car, or charging your battery. So what we do is we charge our hybrid battery to full. So this is where people say, why are you paying to charge that, especially in summer when your PV will comfortably charge that? Because we are exporting via another company at five pence a kilowatt hour. So the way we are doing it maximizes us charging that and maximizes that battery capacity and it doesn't cost us anything. anything. So again, going back to it, we charge that to full. So let's say the, the sun comes up, the battery might need a little top up and then it goes straight to export at five pence a kilowatt hour. So it's win-win, we've maximized that, we've locked it in and then we're going to export. It's worth noting, we're not getting excited about the fact that we're charging this at four and a half pence and exporting at five pence. That 0 0.5 pence a kilowatt hour almost gets wiped out with inefficiencies between transferring from DC AC. So that's not what it's all about. It's just all about locking that in and then the energy that the sun would have took to fill that goes to export at pretty much the same price. That, in our opinion, is how to maximize the battery storage system. Now, it's so easy to set up easy to set up and you can do it on the app. Anyone can do it. You don't need to be a tech geek to be able to do that. So in our opinion, that is the way to maximize these systems. So in summary, what's the point in this? What's the point in getting a solar storer? Or what's the point in putting battery storage in your home? Well, for me, it's quite simple. It's all about pulling as little from the grid as possible, keeping your bills as low as they can be it's all about self-generating, which will charge your battery also, but also force charging your battery on the cheap rate. Now for me, that's the way to maximise these systems, but ultimately it's keeping your bills as low as they can be. And then there's an environmental impact. That shouldn't be overlooked. All the energy that you produce with your solar panels comes from Mother Nature. No carbon is given off during that generation. That shouldn't be overlooked. So. I hope you found these videos useful. If you'd like more information on our solar storers or our battery storage systems, please get in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye. Just want to put a quick video edit on the back of that last video. I like the content of the video. I don't want to lose it. Now, that video was filmed on May 2021, we're now in January 2022. A big change that's happened since then is energy prices have went through the roof. So the equivalent on that rate that we talked about now appears to be seven and a half pence a kilowatt hour for the cheap overnight rate and 30 pence a kilowatt hour for the, the daytime rate. Now, obviously I'm only talking about that rate. There's clearly other tariff providers out there and you should always do your homework. So 
Remember, energy price is going up, but if you've got an energy storage system, essentially the hit you will have to take will be less because remember you're charging on the cheaper rate. So one other way of looking at it is the difference, the gap between the cheap overnight rate and the dear daytime rate, the bigger that gap is, ultimately will bring the payback period of your energy storage system down because ultimately you're importing on the cheap rate and not the dear rate. So again, for me, it's another good reason why energy storage systems are a good thing. So I hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions and queries, please get them down below. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.